Hey y'all, it's your girl Lisi and I am back again with another video. Y'all see the title of today's video. Today's video is going to be a Q&A slash get to know me video because I've been on YouTube for a few months now. I've ran up the numbers. Y'all have helped me run up the numbers, my loyal subbies. Y'all already know who y'all are, okay? And I'm gonna answer some questions that you guys asked me. I have asked y'all on multiple platforms on Instagram and YouTube. I mean, that's multiple, but it ain't as multiple as we thought it was gonna be, it's two. So I asked y'all in a few of my videos, community posts, and even on Instagram to ask me some questions. And some of y'all actually asked me some questions that y'all wanna know. So I appreciate y'all for asking me questions and wanting to get to know me a little more besides like the girl who be telling story times, like the funny, the funny comedian that be telling story time. I know y'all think I'm a comedian, but whatever, whatever. But before we get any further, y'all already know I'm gonna tell y'all to like this video if you haven't already, give me a big thumbs up, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed already. Now, let's get into the video slash Q&A slash get to know me. All right, so let's get into these questions, y'all. So, it was one person, they just asked a whole bunch of questions. So I'm gonna go through those first and then go through everybody else's questions. So boom, the first question, what is your zodiac sign? I am a Gemini, gang, 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 Gemini, the most hated zodiac sign. People love to say that we're fake, we're two-faced, we have multiple personalities. And you know what? That might be true for some, but I could only speak for myself as a Gemini. I feel like we're the one of the most chillest, coolest signs. And it's at the point where if if you see a different side, it's because you, you brought it out. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. So, anyways, before I'm not even gonna get too deep into it, but just so y'all know, I'm a Gemini. My birthday is June 15th. If y'all wanted to know, if y'all want to send me something for my next birthday. Anyways, all right, next question. Are you single? Like a Pringle. Like a Pringle. I'm single. I don't have no man. And I'm perfectly okay with not having a man right now because I am so focused on myself and getting myself together that I, for me to be entertaining somebody's son, like, I would have to fit you into my schedule, like, at this point. That's how much stuff I got going on. And honestly, because I know that I'm going to be moving I don't, cause I'm gonna move to another state, y'all. Like Texas specifically, and <laughs> I, I don't even want to start talking to nobody right now because it's like I don't want to fall in love and have my plans be deterred because I don't want to leave New York because the love of my life. Is, no, the love of my life is in Texas, bro, or they're not in New York because I'm leaving this state, bro. So yeah, I'm single until further no, until for, further notice. Are you straight or are you bi? I'm primarily straight. But I'm definitely bi-curious. I've never done anything with a girl. The most I did was kiss a girl in a truth or dare game. And I had another a little occurrence happen, but I ain't gonna get into that because this is YouTube. I'm bi-curious. I'm bi-curious. And if you a girl and you think I'm cute, please holler at me. But I like femmes. I like girly girls, like girls that's, that, that look like me. And not to say that they gotta be like chocolate or black, like... Women are pretty, women are beautiful. You know, I like titties, um, I like ass, I like a pretty face, I like good hygiene, nails done, hair done. I really don't want a dyke, but if you're a dyke, I'll do you if you're like a very pretty dyke. Like, you have to like, it's like, I have to look at you and be like, damn, like, why you don't just be a girly girl? Like, that's how extra pretty, like, you know, some people are just, and don't take offense to nobody. Like, and if you do, oh well, click off the video. But you know, some people, you they're just so just naturally just gorgeous with like nothing, like me. <laughs> um, But anyways, I'm, I'm getting too deep into that. So yeah, I'm by curious. So again, if you a girl and you wanna holla, holla, please. Do you have any kids? And if not, do you someday want kids? Yes. Oh wait. I don't have no kids. Hold on. <laughs> I do want kids one day, but I don't have no kids. I am everyone's favorite auntie right now. So no, I do not have any pick me them. Do I want kids one day? Yes, with the right man. And going back to like the bi-curious situation, like 
I'm vicarious in the sense that I would want to have fun with a girl, but I don't see myself being in relationship in a serious long-term relationship with a girl. Like ultimately when I'm ready and when the force is aligned for me to settle down, I would like for it to be with a man because I just, I'm primarily straight. Like I need a man, I need a beard or a little facial hair. I need a, you know what I'm saying? I need that, I need that. Yeah, one day I do. Once I meet my husband, whoever he is, wherever he at, I don't know what he doing, but we have to both want the kids. We have to both want the long-term commitment to each other before I agree to have anybody's baby. Like, whenever the day comes where y'all see me pregnant, that man is the GOAT. I'm telling y'all, he's the GOAT. To get a baby out of me? <laughs> Anyways, next question. Personal feelings regarding marriage in this generation? <sighs> That's gonna make the video so long. But I mean, I be talking about my husband, my husband, cause I am manifesting a husband. So I would like to be married one day to the right person. Obviously I'm not gonna get married to nobody where the relationship is rocky. I feel like the dating pool is basura, garbage right now for my age group. So I don't really know how marriage is gonna go. It's a lot of people getting married and getting divorced. Like I I've seen it. Like. So I really don't know. I'm just saying I would like to get married. And if we go into the situation with good intentions, okay, cool. But you know, life happens, stuff happens. I just want to go into the marriage with good intentions on both ends. We both want to get married. We both want to commit ourselves to each other. We both have an understanding of what we do and don't got going on. And we in this to the end till death do us part. A lot of these guys, there's a lot of guys that don't want to get married or just people you manifest the life that you want, you're gonna get it. You still gotta put in work. Like, part of manifesting is you gotta do your part too. It's not all gonna fall into your lap. But I'm manifesting, you know, a husband and a family and the white picket fence. Like, or black picket fence. Or a gated electric gate. Anyways, whatever. She said, which parent are you closest to? I'm closer to my mom. We we gonna get into my dad another day y'all like i'm not even gonna get into that man right now if you could tell your younger self anything what would it be stand up stand up <laughs> i would tell my younger self to stand the f up like oh my god because i just look back on so many situations like for example like when i be telling y'all stories like i be looking back like wow like the me today would never, or the me today would handle this situation so much differently, or the me today would have just popped on this girl. Like, I wouldn't even been arguing. I would have just hit her. Uh, the me today would beat up the younger version of myself. Like, when it came to certain situations, but, you know, I don't regret, regret. I don't regret anything that has happened in my life. Everything that I went through has taught me to be the person and the woman that I am today. So, if... Like I said, if I could tell my younger version something, it's stand up, bro. Like, cause I'm not even gonna lie, in middle school, I was a little scary. So I wish I wasn't as scary in middle school. That started shaking off me, like, I wanna say like, ending in high school into um college. Cause that's when static was really coming. So I had to, I had, I had, I, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, there's that. All right, next question. Who's next? Go, 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 go. Go. Advice you would give new YouTubers? Okay, that's a great question. Because, y'all, I started my channel in August. It is December. And I have already made the goals that I said I was gonna make. Some of them, at least, not all of them. One of the major goals was getting where I need to get to get monetized, which I'm at. And to get monetized on YouTube, y'all, you need a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. And watch time is basically the accumulation of how long people are spending watching your videos. So in order for you to get either or, you have to put out quality content. Like, and like I told y'all, I'm on my phone. Like, if y'all seen the last video, cause I'm probably gonna post this video after the story time I just recorded, hence y'all see in the same fit, everything. You have to put out quality content. Even if you have your iPhone, and I would definitely say iPhone, don't do an Android, cause y'all know that camera quality don't be hitting. But yeah, you have to put out quality content. So what does that entail when you have an iPhone? That entails like thumbnails, 
if y'all want to make a YouTube and you want to use my thumbnails for reference on how you should put your thumbnails together, do that. They just need to be attractive. Like don't put a video and like, this is the thumbnail. Like you in the middle of saying something like put effort into making a thumbnail. And the app that I use to make my thumbnails, I use Canva. Great app. You could do anything on there. So there's that. And matter of fact, I'll probably do a whole video on how to start a YouTube channel, honestly, but cause I don't want to get too deep into it cause I have other questions to answer. But find your niece, figure figure out what you're into, what you like, and do your research, y'all. Like, do YouTube teaches you how to make a YouTube channel. Like, I can't tell y'all how many people in real life that I have come across and they be like, oh, Alicia, your channel's doing good. Like, how did you get that many subscribers? How are you getting all these views? Da -da 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 -da. I make quality content. I be myself. You have to be yourself. Don't get up on here and try to be like your favorite YouTuber because you're you're going to burn out and you're not going to be able to keep up with that. Be yourself. Talk to the camera like you're talking to one of your friends. Talk, talk to the camera like you're talking to your man or your girlfriend, like somebody that you feel really comfortable with talking to. Like, just be yourself. Like, I am being me. Like, this is why y'all mess with me because I'm being me. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, I've been funny my whole life, but we'll get into that. So yeah, I forgot the other points that I said, but make quality content, have your thumbnails, be yourself, figure out your niche, do your research, and be consistent. That's why I'm at where I'm at now. Like I started with posting two videos every week. So you have to mentally like prepare yourself and put yourself in that zone to say like, okay, like, I'm going to make a YouTube channel and I'm actually going to do it and do it because this is something you genuinely want to do. And you have a passion behind whatever content that you're creating. Like don't do it because you're seeing a bag because just because I started my YouTube in August and I'm already monetized, that does not mean that will be your same journey. Sorry, y'all, I touched the mic. That does not mean that will be your same journey. So don't look at my journey and think that, oh my God, I'm going to be just like her. Just do you. Just do you and everything will fall into place. So that's my advice to new YouTubers. This is basically, I kind of answer this. Um, how long have you been doing YouTube? It is December 30th, 2022. My first upload was August 17th, 2022. So how many months is that? That's like, that's four months and I'm already monetized. I got monetized in four months. That's some G shit right there. Cause I thought it was going to take me the full 12. Oh, that's another thing too. Y'all you have to reach your a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in 12 months. They give you a year to get your, cause they're not going to just give out money to any and everybody. Like you have to be putting in work to get where you need to go. For me, I hit my watch hours before my subscribers, but whatever hits first, you, you're going to, you're going to get it. The watch hours hitting first though. I was like, okay, yes, because that means people are watching. I just had to get the a thousand and I got that. Somebody said, who do you miss the most? Nobody. I don't miss nobody right now. I don't, I miss takeoff, even though I didn't know the man, but <laughs> rest in peace, take off. Forever rocket, rocket fly. Hi, that's who I miss. Take off any pets. No, I don't have any pets. The most pets that I've had were goldfish, little fish, and you know, them things die real quick. And I had a pet turtle named Stacy when I was like in elementary school, but that was at an age where I wasn't really responsible. So I started getting real lazy when it came to like feeding her, cleaning her tank, taking care of her. Like, and my mom was like, listen, do you want to give this turtle away? Because you, it started stinking up my room. Ah, it started taking up my room and stuff like that. So I had gave Stacy away to my science teacher, Miss M. Shout out to you, Miss M. And I was all the way in elementary. So I haven't had a pet since then. I fake want like a little small dog, like maybe like a little teacup dog, but I probably wouldn't get the dog until again, I move to my new state. Your favorite hobby. Well, y'all should already know is being a YouTuber. At this point, I love being a YouTuber. I love making these videos. That's what I'm saying. You have to have a passion behind being a YouTuber. If you don't have the passion, if you don't enjoy recording yourself, editing these videos, making the thumbnails, uploading them and getting the feedback, then what are you doing? What do you, I'm telling you, not going to last if you're, if you don't have fun. Like I literally have fun doing this. Like I be doing these thumbnails and I be treating it like an arts and crafts project. Like also other hobbies, obviously makeup. I love doing makeup and 
it's not really a hobby at this point. It's like a side hustle for me. It's not a main hustle. Not yet. Not yet at least, okay? And I like to work out. Yes, I be working out, y'all. Obviously, I don't look like the most fittest girl on the planet. I got a little bit of, you know, I got a little, <laughs> I got a little bit of stuff of that still. <laughs> but I've come a long way as far as like my weight and how my figure looks because I, no shade, no disrespect to my family, but I kind of low key come from, I wouldn't say a fat family, but definitely big bone, meat on the bones, a little chunky, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I always, like, had insecurities growing up as a kid. I always felt like I was fat when I was growing up. Even though I look back and I really wasn't fat, I was just a little chunky. I was just a little chunky monkey. And it was even a point this girl tried to bully me. She was calling, girl, I ain't even going to get into that tea because that's going to be a story time. Um, but she was, like I said, trying. She didn't bully me. She tried because I'm always fight back. Like I said, I'm going out swinging before I go out sad. So think twice before you try to come for me. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, I like to, so those are my hobbies. I like to work out. I like to do makeup and I like to be a YouTuber. Yeah. Next question. Biggest red flags in guys. Ooh. <laughs> there are so many. Like now that I'm older and now that I'm not a naive, like, something teen year old or in my early 20s it's like there are so many red flags that you will see in these men that when you get to my point if you're not there already like you're not wasting no time with some of these dudes like you're just getting cut off immediately like i don't have the time for you and your bs papas not doing it so biggest red flags for me i hate when a dude just want to text me all day that's a red flag like because I've experienced having men or young men who they don't want to do nothing but call me. And we might text, but it'll be throughout the day, like when we're busy and stuff like that. Like I recently, well, it's not that recent, but it was a minute ago. I One of the reasons I cut this guy off that I was talking to like a few months ago, mind you, I met the nigga like years and years ago long story long story don't even know if i'm ever gonna even get into it but i kept telling him like yo i like to talk on the phone like stop texting me he told me, oh i don't like to talk on the phone da, 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 da. you're getting cut off like i'm too grown like i got stuff going on like i understand you got probably got stuff going on too but like i'm not texting you all day like anyways i'm getting too deep into it another red flag is a guy who just want to message me on Instagram, like, if we a couple messages in and you know, like, okay, it's a high chance that a dude is hitting you up on Instagram because he wants to smash, okay? Like, let's call, let's call it what it is, y'all. Like, ladies, y'all gotta understand, like, guys, men are very visual. They are visualists and we are the emotionalists, okay? And we are the emotionalists and the visualists at the same time. But men, off rip, they are the visualists. They are looking at you like, ooh, like, she look good. Like, you might have a cool personality and they might want to get to know you a little bit more. But I'm automatically assuming at this point that a dude is hollering me from Instagram because he wants to smash. She looked at my pictures, I look good, and he want to get behind this fat ass. Like, that's all I think. <laughs> so, if you just messaging me on Instagram and then it's like, you taking hours to respond... And I'm not mad at that because I'll take hours to respond to because I don't have my notifications on on Instagram. Like, I turned them on and off. So, it'll be times where I'll see a, a DM hours later or days later. Like, I'm to certain people that I take a minute. I'm sorry. Like, I have to be on Instagram to be seeing, like, oh, snap, I got some new DMs. Like, the number changed. Yeah, to me, like, if you just want to message me on Instagram and you talking about a whole bunch of nothing, that lets me know you just here to smash. Like, if you not, like... I have a whole, like, this recently happened too, and I'm like, who sent this man? Like, why, why are you messaging me? Like, and I, I, here's another red flag. Like, if you ask a dude, like, what are his intentions, and he say some BS, like, I had asked this dude the other day, like, what was your intention with reaching out to me? He was like, oh, just checking on you. Okay, like, I don't need you to check on me. Like, why are you here? Like, 
you can't clearly state your intentions, that's a red flag to me. Cause I'm too grown. I'm too grown for the games. Like, and obviously a guy's not gonna come out and just say like, oh, I wanna smash. Cause you know, a smart dude is gonna, you know, slither his way up in there. He's gonna work his magic to make sure like he gets on your good side or gets in there before he does what he needs to do. But um, there's that. What's another red flag? A liar. I hate a lying ass dude. Like, and I hate when it's like you catch somebody in a lie and then it's like once once you catch them in a the lie, that, that relationship is tainted because it's like you going to question everything they say or do after that. And it's like, that's no way to live. I, I, I did that before. I'm not doing it again with nobody's son. So yeah, I have so many other more other things, but that's a whole separate video talking about red flags and guys. So if y'all want me to do a girl talk, type of video let me know because i'll definitely do girl talks and give my girlies some advice maybe even give men some advice on how to deal with us anyways <laughs> next question somebody said what made you want to be a youtuber i've wanted to be a youtuber for years y'all like i'm not even gonna lie to y'all for years people been telling me for years to make a youtube because people been telling me my whole life that I'm funny. Like, I have been funny since I've been popped out the pooms, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I've been funny my whole life. I've always had, like, y'all see how I'm a story time channel, even though somebody said I make it up, whatever, ho. I've always had, like, crazy experiences and stories and situations happen to me that it's like when I link up with somebody that I know, I will literally be sitting there for, like, an hour telling them about this crazy-ass stuff that just happened to me or whatever. And they'll be like, yo, bro, like, you should just make a YouTube. Like, the types of stories that you have, like, you need to just make the YouTube. Like, just do it. Like, just Nike, just do it. And I did attempt a few years ago when I have my MacBook, well, I still have it, but it's a 2015, so it's old and fried. Like, it moves very slow. I remember I recorded a video of me doing my makeup, and I went to go try to edit the video. The computer, it started moving slow. It was getting hot. It overheated. Like, it just wasn't working out, and I had gave up. And I want to say that was in, like, 2019. So, the point where I was finally like, oh, yeah, like, I, I need to get on this YouTube wave. Like, I need to get on it. Because, boom, at the beginning of this year, even though it's technically almost last year because the year ends, like, tomorrow's the last day of the year. Because today's December 30th, just in case y'all forgot if I said that in the video. I have went to, it's like this candle making experience in New York. It's called Wick and Poor. And I have went there with my cousin and my mom. And at the little experience, you know, you're sitting at a table, you're sharing a table with other people. So we had started talking to these people and engaging with them. And one of the girls was like, do you have a YouTube? I'm like, no, because mind you, people been telling me for years, you need to make a YouTube. I've been saying for years, when I make my YouTube, this is going to be story time. When I make my YouTube, when I make my YouTube, I've always have said stuff like that over the last few years. So the fact that this girl had met me two minutes ago, or we started talking two minutes ago, and she asked me, do I have a YouTube? I'm like, what made you think I had a YouTube? And she's like, girl, like, you have a YouTube personality. Like, you're somebody that I would watch on YouTube. I was like, oh, I need to get on my shit. Like, I was like, yeah, I need to get on my shit. Like, I'm playing games. And then I came across a few YouTubers that I watch, and I'm sure y'all probably watch them too. Let me know if y'all watch them in the comments. Um, but I came across, her name is Asia. I am Asia. She's like mainly a story time channel, but she does beauty vlogs, stuff like that. I found her page and her stories just had me entertained. I'm like, yo, she's mad funny. Her stories are crazy. She's pretty. She's like a chocolate girl like me. I don't know. I just love the chocolate women, y'all. Don't, if you lighter than me, don't. I love black women. I love all women, but it's something, something different when I see a chocolate girl winning, winning for me because society has forever been against black women and darker skinned women like myself. So I was messing with her. I know some of y'all probably watch Irene. Her channel's called Reen's Beauties. I found her channel. Irene is funny AF. Like, she, yo, she be having me on the floor. And so I had to subscribe to their channels. 
Um, and then I followed them on Instagram and everything. And then Asia have followed me back on Instagram. Hey girl, if you've ever seen this video. So I was like, oh, I, I want to be like them. Like I want to be like them and have big channels and tell my story because I know I'm pretty, I'm funny, I'm entertaining. So I just wanted to be like the girls that I was watching. Like, and I just, that was the real push for me to be like, yo, like make your YouTube, bro. Just make your YouTube. So boom yeah and then there's so many other like hey paris um who else do i watch that like people are paris and if y'all know who hey paris is she's been on youtube for years like i've been watching her for years she was like one of the first people that started doing story times like she's one of the og story time people um, who else a whole bunch of other people y'all like it's i'm subscribed my subscribe list is long af if you entertain and i'm subscribing so yeah that's why what do you think your first impression is on people i have like mixed what do i think i think people probably think um that i'm quiet because i am because i'm a type of person like even if i was to meet y'all in real life y'all like I'm a timid person like I've been timid I've been a little shy like my whole life but then once we start talking like I be talking to y'all like I'm I don't known you for 10 years type um I don't tell y'all my business obviously but I think people think I'm timid but once they start talking to me they'll be like yo like you're really chill like so I think people think I'm timid and then I'm chill I've heard people like people have well not people like it's this one person in my life and he had introduced me so like this girl that he was talking to and I said when I first met her I'm like hey how you doing da, da, da. and then she had came back around but it wasn't in a setting to where it's like me and her have to intimately talk or whatever and then he had came back and and th this happened with a whole other girl too not a girl he was talking to but a girl he had introduced me to and both of them had said like oh like I don't think she likes me and I'm like where the f did they get that from and he's telling me like oh because they probably think that because the first time when you met them, you were all happy and jolly. And then when you seen them again, it was just like a high and by type of situation. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what do y'all want me to do? Like, do y'all want me to fucking put on a red nose and, and tell jokes all day? Like, so when I don't really know somebody like that, I don't, I'm not gung ho ready to like talk, talk, talk. I'm the type of person, like, if you come up to me, like, we'll talk but like if it's me and you in a room i'm probably not gonna talk to you first like i'm just i'm trying to break out of that but i'm i've been a little timid like my whole life so if y'all see me in real life and i don't talk to you first just come up to me talk to me i'm a nice person i'm a chill person like so i've gotten mixed reviews all right next question how was your first kiss <laughs> My first kiss, I'm gonna make it the next story time. So if y'all made it to this part, put like the kissy emoji, put one of the kissing emojis, cause there's multiple in the comments if you made it to this part of the video. I'm gonna make that my next story time because that is a whole entire story, okay? What was it like growing up in New York? Question from someone who grew up in the South. I'm so curious about New York. New York is ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i want to leave this state new york is ghetto now don't get me wrong i love my city wherever i go i'm gonna rep it i'm from new york queens get the money gang gang you already know the vibe stop playing with me ho but new york is ghetto new york is not for the weak that's why i don't know if y'all ever heard of the saying like if you can make it in new york you can make it anywhere that's why i'm very confident with me leaving this state i'm gonna be gucci because this is a city that will chew you up and spit you right out. It's very fast paced. The people walk at 25 miles per hour. Like, it's a real quick city. Like, you gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of stuff going on here down to, like, scams, down to being on your bully. And when I say being on your bully, like, I be in a train station, I'm 5'1", I have to move like I'm 6'1". Like because people are rude, people will bump into you, they won't say excuse me, like, the hospitality, like, is just not there, the subway is the trenches, like, it's expensive AF, like, 
it, it's a lot. And I don't want to say that as if the city is all bad, um, but it's not all bad. What I do like about the fact that I was born and raised in New York is that I automatically have street smarts. Like that's what living in, and I'm not talking about upstate, I'm talking about New York City, one of the boroughs, even parts along East, East Long, not East Long Island, but like Long Island that's accessible with the boroughs. Like I'm talking about Freeport, Elmont, what's that other part of Long Island? Maybe Masspeth, like, cause you still kind of getting city vibes in those areas. Like I'm not talking about deep, like where the Hamptons is at in Suffolk County. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about New York City. We'll give you street smarts. Like you will automatically, and I'm not going to say for everybody, like, with street smarts, you have to have live in the hood. Like I've been living in the hood my whole life, y'all, and be around hood people. That's where you get your street smarts from. And just being in this city, period. Like you will get certain street smarts and just smarts, period. That people that let's say no disrespect, but maybe somebody in Kansas or Missouri will not have because of their location and because it's slower paced. Yeah, y'all see what I'm saying? What else? What what else? How was it like? It was kind of fun growing up in New York, too, because it's always something to do out here. Like, it's always something new popping up, you know, a new excursion, a new something, whatever. It's super convenient because you have stores all around. I don't know what else to say. But, yeah, that's what it's like living in New York. <laughs> what did you go to college for? I... And then somebody asked the question saying, did you graduate from college? Barely! Early. Um, so boom, I went to college for business administration. Y'all know what's crazy? What's crazy is that when I was a senior in high school, like I had already made up in my mind that I wanted to have a business major, but I was unsure, like I second guessed myself. So I just went into college undecided for my first two years. And then my last two, I claim the business major and I'm not gonna lie y'all I wasn't an A plus student I'm a very smart person but school was like kind of not for me and I really wish that I had went to school like the me today and I wish I was on top of everything but it is what it is you can't change the past so yeah my first two years I was undecided my last two I did my major and you know thankfully I already had credits that could go towards that business major and yeah, I graduated with a business degree, business administration. So, which is why I'm like an entrepreneurial type of person. Like I was in entrepreneur classes and stuff like that. I was in psychology classes when I was undecided. And you know your basics, cause in college they make you take all the stuff that you took in high school for free. Why, I don't know, but okay. What are your pet peeves? Girl. There's a lot, but then it's like, at the right now, I can't even, like, think. Like, what are my pet peeves? I hate people who are late. Or, I want to say hate. Excuse me. But one of my pet peeves are when people are late. That could be for anything. Like, you're late to show up to your makeup appointment with me. And granted, you know, I just be letting people bypass sometimes because stuff happens and life happens and sometimes I'm late due to circumstances beyond my control but there's that another pet peeve I think I kind of answered this earlier with the red flags and guys like I hate when a guy just wants to text me all day like I've, I've had I've had the men that wake up and the first thing they want to do is call me so it's like if you wake up and the first person that or at least the second, damn, like, <laughs> or the first, no, really the first, though, and the first person that I don't want to, and I'm not the first person that you want to talk to, like, off the wake up, like, you're not really that into me, because I've had, I've had it where whoever I was talking to, whether it was my man or a guy that I was in a situationship with, the first thing that they do in the morning is call me, wake up, wake, wake, what you doing, how, how was your night, how did you sleep? Like, I like stuff like that. So I already know I'm not going to settle for anything less than that. So if you don't have that to offer, then you better go find the next bitch because you, you, it, me and you are not going to last. I hate when people, especially that we're in like the mask era, like I'm a germaphobe, y'all. So 
I don't really be playing when it comes to germs, washing my hands, hand sanitizer, hygiene, like all of that is on point. Like I be coming home and I have like disinfecting wipes. I disinfect my phone, my AirPods. Like when I come in the crib, I take off my, my clothes and I really want to burn them, but I just put them in straight into my hamper, straight to the shower. So I hate when people are in public and they just <laughs> <laughs> no mask on you're nasty you're nasty anyways i can't think of any other pet peeves but those are my pet peeves what do you do for your nine to five i work at a car dealership i'm a car saleswoman get that bag get that bag if y'all want to know how to get a bag work in a car dealership that job has changed me and I'm going on two years. So yeah. And then this is the last question, which is a good question to end the video. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? That's a tough one. But in the next five years, I see my YouTube flourishing. I see myself with over at least at the minimum, 100K subscribers within the next five years. I see my makeup business flourishing. I see myself getting booked out. Anytime I drop, my booking links are open. I get booked out immediately. I see that for myself. I see myself in a serious relationship within the next five years because I know it's coming. Within the next five years, I can't say I'm gonna have a kid yet, but I see myself moving in the direction to, okay, like, I'm, I'm gonna be a mother. Bitch, I'm a mother. No drama. Within the next five years. Cause in five years, I'm 24 now. In five years, I'll be 29, 30. So I think by the time I'm like late 20s, really 29 and up, I'll be ready for a kid within the next five years. So we'll see how the stars align. And I see myself being wealthy within the next five years. Cause I'm already, <laughs> I'm already, your girl already getting there. So yeah, I also see myself having a house within the next five years. And you know, I'm just living a stable life. I'm successful and my stuff is together at that. My stuff like, and I don't want to say I don't have my stuff together right now. Cause I semi do, but once I'm, cause I'm still living at home with my mom. Once I move out of my mother's crib and I'm really like, living the adult life in my new state like i'm gonna be like oh yeah like i beat the odds i beat the odds that were against me there's so, been so many people who have doubted me who didn't think that i would get where i am today and look at me look at me now look at me now oh hey hey i'm getting paper look at me now look at me now anyways so that is the Q&A video slash get to know Lisi, Lisa, Alicia. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, what emoji should I tell y'all to put? Like, I don't know, put the rainbow emoji. If you made it to the end, the very end of this video, put the rainbow emoji. And of course, as always, if you like this video, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Later.